How's it now, guys? Zero drop frames, okay. Hello? Testing, one, two, three. Oh, one, two, three, hello? Uh, I'm not dropping any frames right now, so uh, I don't think there's any problems on my end yet. Uh, if you guys are, if you guys are getting weird, uh, messed up stuff, make sure to, I don't know, try refreshing the stream, try different quality, etc, etc, etc. Alright, audio volume's okay. Uh, Testing one, two, three. I just want to make sure everything's good before I announce on Twitter again because I don't like saying that it's okay and then it's it's not okay. I don't have a PC actually. I use an Alienware MX18, M18X. Uh, it's very it's very nice. I don't know the specs on it though. My voice could be a little bit louder. Um. Well, to be honest, if, if that's the... I can't put it any louder because my microphone, for some reason, is getting really, really low output settings. Like, it's not even reaching half on this. And I, don't, I think that's something to do with hardware, not necessarily anything that I have with my, with, uh, my computer, but rather my headset. Uh, I don't know if that's fixable, to be honest. So we would just let it, let it rock and keep it there. I love Link. He's hilarious. I make fun of him all the time, though. Alright, alright. We're good. We're good with all the, all you, the volumes. I, I tried the mic settings for Windows. I really, to be honest, like I think I set it at 100. Pretty sure I did. Yeah, it's I, I the only thing left is mic boost, and I'm not huge. I'd rather not mic boost, because it went like a little bit weird last time I tried it. Alright, uh, they first picked a cog. What do I want to do middle? Oh my god, I, I kind of know what I want to do. I'm going to do this again. No, 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 no. I'm kind of in the mood for a Lux game, to be honest. I played Lux last game, and I kind of want to do it again. I'm a big fan of Lux right now. Very fun pick. I was going to pick Eve, to be honest, but, uh... I'm down for, I want to put in some Lux games just to see if how her current strength. Uh, I think she's good. Like I definitely think she's she's very strong. But the Johnny Mid is kind of just a random gimmick pick. Uh, okay, let me go ahead and tweet this. So, oh my God. Okay. Okay, so I guess we're not. Huh? I have two people, two of the Australian players, and Unstoppable with me. I don't know who the other, the other people on the other team are, but I know I'm against an Eve mid. I'm not the greatest at Swain. Like I, Kitty Pie is a better Swain than me, like by far. It's kind of quite embarrassing actually whenever I lose to Kitty because his Swain is like better is better than like half the mids I play, which is funny. Music is louder than it normally is. There we go. I don't think the music is louder. I honestly just think it's that my microphone is a lot quieter. So I'll move down my music volume a little bit. Uh, I might play some Gragas tonight. I'm unsure. How's Lux Fair against Eve? Uh, she gets steamrolled. But we'll see what happens. I think it's a sk it can go skill. It can be a skill matchup. Oh, I forgot my webcam. My bad. Hey guys, am I green on that webcam? Whatever. I'm not gonna try to fix it if it's color faulty. I'll just be green for the for the day. So today I spent most of my day right. 
uh, after I woke up, I just went to Riot, got a tour, uh, they showed us some really cool uh, stuff, NDA stuff that I can't say, that will be out throughout the year, and it's really cool. And that's all I can do about it, yeah, that's all I can say about it. Uh, we received our player passes for tomorrow, it's got a picture of Renekton on it. Renekton there against Nasus, right here. I don't know if you guys can see that on stream, but we got our player passes today. Um, and, and all the teams will be there tomorrow. Ignite heal Cho'Gath top, okay. TPA or Frost, I would like, I, I like TPA. I think they still have stuff to show. Whereas Frost, I feel like, uh, well, you know what, you know what, no. They have, they have a couple of days to play, like, and in those couple of days, you can create enough strat, enough new stuff in those couple of days that are both teams are going to have to adapt a little bit to how the, the, the rest of the game goes. But I like TPA. I, I, they're my favorite team of the two teams in the finals. I hope, I hope they win. But uh, it could go either way. Toys is really good. Yeah. Expect TPA to beat Nine and Sword in the quarterfinals. Yes, I did. Um, when we played against Sword, uh, we kind of just, I don't know. We felt that their mid and their bottom weren't mechanically skilled, but their top was like God. Like, like he's one of the best tops in the game. So, I felt like if mid and, if mid and bot meet really strong players, like, they would lose. And their top wouldn't be strong enough to be able to carry the game. And that's kind of what happened in their matches against TPA. Like, like against so Sword, all you have to do is make their top split even. If you can do that and you win the other lanes, you'll win the game. Which I know sounds weird because like they beat us, right? I'm not trying to like shit talk them or anything. I'm just saying like from my like unbiased perspective, I thought the mechanical skill at Song and like their bottom lane per uh, showed was weaker than the other teams in the tournament. The, a lot of the other teams in the tournament. God, that laugh is obnoxious. Hmm, I ran, I went very standard 21-09 and ran only in Mar Blues and AP Quince this game. Nothing too crazy. This is actually a champion I would run Magic Pen on because almost a third of her damage comes from, um, uh, whatchamacallit, her passive. So Magic Pen's actually really, really good on her. Her and Brand are, are two champions I feel like Magic Pen Quince can be run on and there are, are like under underused right now minions <laughs> have spawned you love it when a plan comes together ooh i don't know a little bit scary uh i don't they might invade we'll see I started E. It just um it's better for lane, but to be honest, I probably should have started Q. I don't know why I started E. It's a li E's a little bit better if you're starting it for uh more consistent harass. And it's better for helping your jungler clear camp clear camps. But aside from that, it's not like it's not that great. So mid also starts uh MR, MR AP. Identical rune page, I think. Yeah. Except for maybe she went down defense. No, 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 I don't think she went. I don't think she went down defense with no armor showing. I'll look into it. Let's go ahead and pick up level Q. Try to put in some other attack harass on them. Typically, as Eve, I would say you never should run MP5 yellows. I think that's what she's doing. Um, 
you really don't need it. Like, MP5 yellows are worthless on Eve because you should never really run out of mana with how our passive works. So typically, I just run armor. Not too focused on harass right now. I don't know exactly where that Lee Sin is. I could definitely get caught in a bad spot with that against that Lee. See, my harass isn't really doing too much because I'm not committing a lot on it right now. Put quite a bit of damage there. Okay, Lee just caught my Sin in the jungler in the jungle. So I'm screwed. Like I have to be so 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 careful. Bot they did a lane swap this game, which didn't work out because bottom lane decided to start um ward in a health pot. Like that never works. You know, in, in the the one v two, you need three health pots or else you just get get rolled by the harass. Where is this lead? That's what I'm really curious about. I forced one health pot down middle, but I want to go more aggressive, and I can't because we lost jungle control. Even with a good ward there, I might be able to just hug left side, but uh, he could come through here, so I don't have many that many good routes for middle. Alright, whatever. I'm not gonna push the lane too much. I'm just gonna let it push over here. CS right now should be about even. I'm winning a little bit, but uh, that's just because she's missed a few with her Q. <laughs> Nothing too significant. Lane's still quite even, and I'm gonna freeze it here. Did Eve go back to buy? No, she did not. Here's where she went. Oh my god, I pushed the lane. Okay. I missed the harass, and I pushed the lane on accident. That was real bad. Why am I took the turret at 5 minutes? Jeez. Put some more damage there. So go ahead and take these creeps here. I want to keep the lane as pushed up as possible to me. Uh, because since we lack any jungle pressure, I can't afford to get ganked by Lee. Or else I'll die. 100% I'll die. Where did this Eve go? Back. Use two health pots, waiting on the last one. Did I get it? Oh my god, this sh Oh I'm gonna eat I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna eat this Q. Please, please, please. He's dead. Oh, I knew I could get that bait. Ooh, can I get this? Oh my god! Oh my god! I oh, I could have. Oh, I wish she wasn't paying attention there. I could have had that. Oh, that would have been like the best double kill. Oh my god. This game sucks. Okay, whatever. Going back to base. I got one, one free kill. That was. Oh, so. So close. So close. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to get over that for a while. I I, I should have had that. We can do this. So close, so close. It was it was off by like this. If I was a little bit faster, I I could have done it. If I had ulti, I'd run down there, but I don't. Oh, he hit six too. Oh, that's so bad. Oh god, our Cho is apps like so far behind. Right decision. Pretty sure mid's going top. 
I wish I had the ward for it. I didn't buy correctly for this. Yeah, they have to back out. Damn. Uh, okay. This isn't looking good for us. Like, our, our bottom lane got rolled so hard by the Kog'Maw lane. And Kog'Maw is going to naturally just scale better into late game. Oh, Eve's mid, Eve's mid, Eve's mid. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, she ulted, so I'm good. That was, that was so hard. She flashed for that, too? Like, my god. I'm gonna actually try to see if I can keep this here. Uh, I don't want to tank too much, though. I'm trying to trying to think what I want to level second. Typically I level Q, but in this type of aggressive kill, killing and diving, I might want to be tempted to, to max uh, W. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and max W second here. See, I can bait more people to diving towers. I don't think I can beat anyone straight up. Like we've lost too much map control for me to actually be able to play aggressive this game. So I'm just gonna go ahead and play from behind. Oh, what the heck? Oh, he's so farmed. What the heck? He's so farmed. Maybe it's just the red buff that makes it seem like he hurt. Oh, uh, I can't run through there, I'll still die. Great decision. Alright. Got one. Oh my god. Oh, I actually got knocked up by that? Oh, I'm so dead. 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 Oh, that was so bad. I should have gotten knocked up. Uh. 40 gold for this. Uh, I tried. I tried to get. I don't know. Too greedy with that. I, I ran in way too far, way too far. Uh, should have just immediately ditched as soon as I realized that Zyra was there. Could have just thrown the shield and ran because I wasn't gonna save anyone. I think I'm just gonna wait for for Grail. They guide them by for me. Five gold. Ooh. Oh my god, they're diving? Can't reach. Oh my god. She, if she had e that Eve onto the wall, I would have killed her. 100%. Wait, wait, why didn't anyone go in? Oh my god, I suck. So Eve is there because he just uh, W'd in onto an invisible target, and the only invisible target from the other team is Eve. Not much damage done because I'm maxing shield second. But still enough to be kind of annoying. I love it when a plan comes together. We have no wards either, like uh Oh, 
Oh my, I hate that Bloodlord skin because it has that random particle in the air. Okay, I, got, I forced the flash there. Oh man. I'll look into it. I wish I had more cooldowns. I messed up one of my keys there. Yeah, no, I'm not getting any farm because there's like three people in my lane at all times. Uh, and uh, while well, Eve is behind, like ridiculously far behind. Everyone else is too. Like the only people who are farming well are Kogma and Vayne, because they both got solo lanes. Aside from that, we are kind of in a really low farm game right now. 14 minutes. There's only one person above 100 CS on both teams. That's really, really bad. I just want that CS. We keep maxing that. I'm at three, right? Get a blue buff. I still don't like our chances with this game. Like we have such underfed players. I guess maybe if Vayne gets really far ahead, we might be able to pull something from behind. But that's like that'd be like a miracle. The Kogma even takes the blue. Really? Hmm. Ah, okay, well, me getting hit, probably pretty bad. A lot of people pushing me right now. I don't think I can hold this. People died bottom. Oh, my God, yep. couldn't do that. Yeah, no, we don't have any control of this game, they're so far ahead of us. Oh, what the brutal game. I'm not quite sure, like, it, the 1v2 we tried this game was really went really, really bad. When Cho died, he missed three quick waves, and we, he ended up being so far behind that he couldn't get back in the game. They just lane swapped into two towers, and the game was over, pretty much. We lost all control of the, of the lanes, and our jungle was, died inside their jungle. So we, we were just behind from every lane but middle. And I couldn't roam at all, because you can't really roam against uh, Lee Sin. Especially if you have no war coverage and you lose the jungle. Kinda sucks. We can do this. Finally hit level 11 though. What's the cooldown now? Uh, 48 seconds. I can live with that. Going. The Kog'Maw's about to wriggles up on this vein? That can't be right. I'm pretty sure yes, she hasn't bought in a while. Actually, maybe, maybe, yeah, no, I think that is right. I love it when a player comes together. I figured we would look to try to team fight more because I feel like our 
Uh, our team fights. Oh, I guess our team fight's not that good either. But we do have an Aegis on one player. I, could be. Uh. Oh, uh, the shield saved me there, but I baited my other team into dying. I think the only the best thing I have to do right at this point is just to try to look for a steal on Baron. I really, really hope they're gonna go for Baron because going for Baron against Lux is really, really bad. Oh, is that, oh my god. I didn't realize that last hit would kill him. And that ulti hit nothing. We might be able to pick up kills here. Oh, oh never mind, never mind, never mind. A little bit too optimistic there. Yeah, that's if that Sono had hit anyone, we would have been able to get a kill. Unfortunately, it just didn't happen. We should be able to get two towers here. And my ulti's about to come up soon. I'm, I definitely want to go for the death cap second. We need to back out together as a team. Eve is nearby. So Eve can look to just pick off like one of our players. If we don't back out together. I really hope Eve doesn't go for him. We can do this. Wow, this Eve is 50 CS behind, but it doesn't matter because this, everyone's CS is so low that um, she's still like a constant threat as soon as she gets the death fire because she has CC and anyone with CC with that level of CC is always good. Oh, really? Oh my god, he got caught. Okay. The real question is anyone here? Got it. Okay. Good, good, good. Get one blue buff, and how are we gonna do this? Thank god I leveled shield because it absorbs a heck of a lot of damage. It's 310 base at 5, or 4. Uh, if, if you get a full full damage reduction on both shields, of course, that'll almost never happen. But the fact that it's AoE uh, means that you can get a lot of damage reduction. Uh, what's the cooldown? 36 seconds. It's 24 with 40% CDR uh, on level 16. So levels are really, really important on this champ. Uh, that was a kind of a worthless thing. You go ahead and put a ward there. I kind of want five people here, though. Going. Oh my god! If I. We have no follow-up for my long range. Like, uh, typically when you run Lux, if you get if you land a snare, your team should be able to follow up immediately on the snare uh, and kill someone. But unfortunately, this team is kind of like weak on the follow-up. Lighting away. Force is meaningless without skill. Also, I don't do any damage. With a, I don't know. I don't do much damage, especially because I end up maxing shield second. I kind of go a more utility-oriented route. Okay, force uh, a flash there. All I'm doing is just forcing summoners. I wanted to push back while we farm out the lanes. No, no, they couldn't have gone. I was thinking they, they maybe could have gone for Baron, but I guess with like three people 
border hugging like very low health. I doubt they could have done it. Yeah, Cog doesn't do that much damage as he went Dancer first. Even with the type of uh, steroid that he has on his W and his Q, he doesn't do damage that much damage until he picks up his IE or Thurster. So I don't have to worry too much until he picks it up. He did decide to go for a more laning phase oriented build with the Riggles. And so luckily his late game is a little bit... It's going to take a little bit longer for him to reach like that point where he just three shots everyone. Alright, got that. There's two wards here. Hmm. Pretty sure I can one shot cheaper uh, the support if he comes up. But. I love it when a plan comes together. Maybe not. Oh wow, the, the Baron. Oh! What the heck they went so hard there? What what the heck? No one's even nearby. Oh my god. Oh my god. So no one would decide to go in over with that. That was lit that literally could have just been a, a free a free oracles and oracles for a flash unstoppable. Oh man, okay, that's probably gonna be like where we definitively lose the game. Oh, cause that was a play that should not have happened. We gave him such a huge advantage with that, with that Baron buff. Especially in a low, in a low gold game, your the Baron is worth so much more. Yeah, we pretty much have all our cards on, on the table with for Vayne. Like, Vayne is everything for us. Oh my god, if that had landed with all in her. Or all in the cog, not, not the cog in her. They don't have much, like, they really can't siege effectively. Really, their only poke is what? Cogma? Cogma ulti? You have not done. Alright, oh, yeah, so they back out. They're gonna go ahead and go by. I'll look into it. Force the flash. I don't even think she needs the flash. My projectile speed is is not that fast. I'm just looking for gold to get the large rod right now. It'll help out a lot. Uh, 140, like, I don't know, CS numbers are, of course, really bad. Uh, the big, the biggest thing right now is that, like, they're leasing a 7-0. Or, their Kog'Maw's big, right? But that might be workable if we had anyone else on our team that was, like, remotely farmed. But we have a 1-5 Cho'Gath. We have players that just don't do much damage. Um, it's like Sin Zhao's 1-7. Like, we don't have anyone who does damage. What the heck? How do you die on the tower? Shut down. Yeah, that Vlad is huge, like absolutely huge. 200 CS. I like all you did was AFK and farm. I didn't realize.
Oh, I'm so dead, I'm so dead, I'm so dead. Whoops. My bad. If I didn't have a stone to follow that up, I would have 100% died there. Like, that's a play you can tell it's like immediately bad as soon as you do it. You're like, oh my god, I should die for that play. Because I was just I was so far out of position there. Oh wow, he pulled the We can't catch, we can't catch. Oh, which Shirelius, maybe. in 24 seconds. Oh my god, that goes through my whole shield? How much that do? 400 damage, Jesus. I guess when he's 9 and 1, he's 8 and 2, he does a lot of damage. Yeah, if it was only if it's only Kogma farm we could win this game. But with Kogma and Vlad, it's a little bit I feel like too hard to ask for for a comeback after that bad Baron play. It's really all on Vayne now. Like if Vayne can maybe make it work. We can do this. Ooh, Sin just buys health. That's all he does. I feel like Eve is just gonna come and kill everything. Oh, never mind, never mind. Thank you. Hey, give me that, give me that, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. I blinked. I looked away and my, my bottom lane died again. Jeez. I think Sin is just way too far behind. 1 in 10. Um, I just want gold. I just want gold. This is really obnoxious. That... that uh, silly Vladskin. We can do this. Oh, the damage he does is starting to get kind of huge now. Maybe pick up the kill? Oh, oh my god, I just got killed immediately off that Eve. Okay, yeah, that's game. Oh, man. Team fell too far behind. Uh, Eve's still fun, though. Definitely really fun. Uh, I, f I feel like the, the Eve matchup is still kind of bad. Like, pretty bad for you. But, uh... Not horrible. Definitely, definitely like winnable if you can outskill. Oh, not a big deal. Back in the solo queue.
Let me get some water. Oh. Do you have to play Victor? No. Do you want me to shoutcast World Championship Finals? You would hate it. I'm not as good as those. Uh, as Demon or, or Jet. Like, they're, like, much better than me. How many wheels does my chair have? Four? The, is that like... Are there more chairs? Yeah, I'm drinking water. What do you think about Jungle Diana? Uh, piss poor until six, pretty much. Like, your, your gank is literally... You run to the lane, you flash Vortex them. You flash E, and you pray to God they that you force their flash. You're, I don't think you'll get a kill. You'll just force trade flash or flash. Like, that's gonna be your gank. Nocturne Ori comps a few months ago. Yeah, I don't know. No team is confident enough to be able to play with Nocturne except for World Elite at Worlds. That's what I figured out. I found out. When I was watching the teams, I was like, wow. The only team that has the coordination to be able to play global comps is is World Elite. And that's because they play TF global comps. And they're all ri ridiculous. Like, they have so much practice with Nocturne with TF that World Elite is naturally, like, the best team at Nocturne. And all the other teams aren't as good, and go for a more consistent jungler, like Maokai or Skarner. All the other teams. Uh, Kennen's not that good. That's just how, like, he doesn't beat that many people mid, and he doesn't beat the best top laners anymore. So, he's kind of fallen into a place where, like, he's not in a good place right now, pretty much. Uh, and I say that relative to like, if you want him to be played top lane, um, he doesn't have many lanes he can lane against. Like he or he can split lane against some, but he's not like the best against I don't know, top lanes. Current the best top lanes right now are, are like probably Jace, Shen, uh, Aurelia, Aurelia, and like he can't lane against any of those. Maybe Shen. Maybe if you go AD, he can lane against those. But um, with the range nerf, it kind of sealed the deal for his harass. So his harass ability got a lot lower, and that really kicked him out the door in terms of uh, people playing him. Oh, Rengar too. Yeah, he can't land against Rengar. Uh, 
Uh, Crumbs is still at the hotel. Uh, he'll be going back to Canada in a couple days. Do you think there are any secrets left among top players? Like, define secrets. There's Each team has their own strategies that they play, like, really well at. Um... And some teams are just better, like, uh, there's not enough time for one team to be able to find all the best strategies, like, it's just not possible, there's not enough hours in the day, and trust me, Koreans try, like, they try to find all the best strats, but it's just, they don't ha they can't do it all, but, so each team will find out certain things they feel like are good, and a lot of teams may find out that the same strategy is good, for instance, every team pretty much can agree on Jace being a strong pick, and they're like, okay, what works well, Jace? Jace Scarner is a comp you saw a lot, run by Asian teams. Uh, and then like Jace with like random poke, you'll see that quite a bit. Random poke, random disengage, because it works really well with Jace. And so they'll work strategies around like certain the strengths of certain champions, and just I don't know. Like there's a lot of strategies. There's still a lot of team comps, a lot of strategies still left in this game that people haven't built around with that aren't even seen at Worlds because Worlds was like there for people to play like their absolute uh, most tried and true comps and for instance like I know a lot of teams had comps they practiced before but not to the extent where they're like would you put a million dollars on this comp against another team and the, the answer to those would be no but maybe with more time those comps could be more fleshed out there's ZZ Tai from IG I don't know who I'm banning. I just want to get Rengar out of here. They say Ori is harder to play than Cass and Ari. Mm. She's... <sighs> There's a lot of things about certain AP mids that make them hard to play, but Ori is one of those mids that's safe enough to where you don't have to go out of the way to play her at the highest level to be able to be effective with her. I feel like she's... She's an extremely safe champion, and she limits the the amount of mid you get sent mid just by being so strong. Um, she's yeah, it's, it's like it's like a champion like uh, Karthus limits the strength of other picks. Like certain champions are just intrinsically very very their kits are very very powerful, and those champions you t the p more powerful those champions are. Uh, the more, the less picked other champions get, because the the question always comes back to why would you pick X over this champion? Uh, I played Syndra the other day. I didn't. I'm not a huge fan of Syndra. Nian tells me Syndra is really good, but I do not agree. I'll play an Eve game. I was debating Sejuani, to be honest. There's not more League of Legends players in Asia. Um, well, actually, there might actually be more, but I don't think the numbers are what makes the region strong. Good fantasy books to read. Anything by Sanderson or Rothfuss would be good. Happened to Gragas. Uh, his popularity is fading fast. I don't think he's that, like, I don't know. He's not that bad. Just people have been like, okay, well, you can fit more team comps in with Orianna and Karthus than you can with Gragas. That's typically, like, just the gist of, of what I feel like teams are doing. Like, their safer picks are becoming, are just the ones that are more reliable are the ones that are being chosen more. And so the entire way to, to circumvent that, I feel like our, the, the live design team is going to try to put some of the safety out of mid lane. So it's not like a, a farm fest skill list lane. 
Cause I feel like a lot of times, like you can force it into becoming a skillless lane if you wanted to. I think it's the Intox's sixth player. Uh, we don't have one yet. Yeah, my internet, my ISP is Time Warner. Um, if anyone else has had Time Warner before, it's not good. Like, it's it's not the best ISP. It's very flaky. Uh, I've had drop frames simply because they f like my ISP isn't solid. It's kind of annoying. I use mechanic keyboard. I didn't know V teams joining a team. Uh, I think about toys from TP. Excellent mid lane. Like he's one of the best I played against when I was in um, in Korea. Uh, but in, when I was in Korea, they were still in their like slump period where like they weren't doing that well. Um, like, tr trust me when I say they improved a hell of a lot in a very short amount of time. Like they were looking so bad when we were in Korea. Like they were slumping so hard. Like. I don't know what was happening with them, but they weren't performing to the level that I thought they are like not at this level right now. Um, and so it was it was a pleasant surprise to see them this strong. No, top lane isn't skillless. Top lane pro top lane is just annoying. I think top lane is the most frustrating lane to play. I feel like mid lane can you can negate a lot of the skill required to play mid lane because of the closeness of the towers allows for certain mids to just safe mids to just shove and farm their jungle and rotate backwards. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the solution to that. Yeah, I don't know why my lighting is weird. Like, I don't know. It literally changes just randomly. It's like, okay, I feel like you should be red today. And I'm like, okay, uh, thank you. This water's fantastic. Oh, I Love Llamas is, uh, actually the EVE only player. He got from 1900 to 2500 playing only EVE. Uh, it's actually really funny how he, how fast he rose playing this champion. I think the hardest lane in League of Legends. All I think all the lanes require skill. I feel uh, like there's no way you'll be the better person in your lane uh, if they're like. By far better than you, but if it's close, I feel like a mid lane might be the lane where the skill skill differences might not be as bad as important. I mean, it's still very important, like definitely roaming and being able to team fight is very very important. But in terms of laning, Shadows. yeah, Alama just uh, he commented on the fact that I took his Eve. Ooh, I didn't even know it was him. Like I had no idea. I just felt like playing Eve. What rune page am I running? Please, please, please. Ah. Uh, I'm furiously spamming my Q button. Until I'm actually surprised Flash doesn't get take you out of your passive. Now I know. I learn something every day. Into the night. That was a really good blitz pull, though. This oh! Whoops! 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 
with what? With what? Shadows beckon. I can't reach. I can't reach. I can't reach. I can't reach. Oh my god, by the lane. My juggler hates me now. Like, that was so bad. Like, that's an angle where I cannot reach. Uh, yeah, whatever, I messed that up. That was a horrible leash. Oh, I feel so bad for my juggler. My ping's going a little bit up. Uh, what's up, the juggler? Darius. There, there what? Like Gonna keep the lane. Oh, try to keep the lane up to me, because I want my juggler to be able to gank it. And early casting like can do nothing against ganks. This isn't even a lane that I need to level. Uh, Oh. All too oh my god, furious Q spam when you play Eve. Yeah, this isn't really a, a lane where uh, I need to worry about Shadow not leveling spam. W second. Because typically I love you W second in case they have a slow to be able to help their, have their jungler gank me easier. But his slow doesn't even work till four. I don't think anyone's skills to slow on that too. Ooh, the lane is pushed into an awkward position. I must. Here's what I want to be doing about this. Alright, I hit four. I'm either just shove the wave in because I wanna shove it and either go back to farm or Pot and go gank a lane. Mm, top, bottom. This Actually, I don't need to go back. Uh, this is what I mean like when I say I don't think Eve needs uh, any kind of MP5. Because look at how fast my mana's coming back. Uh, off just my passive. Had I not pressed the back button and just let my passive tick, it would have been really, really easy for me to get... Uh, Uh, it would have been really easy for me to get a lot more mana back. From the darkness. So Darius is on the side. Shadows beckon. Playing it really, really safe right now. I think I can... I honestly think I can probably kill mid. If I all end him right here. The problem is that I don't know where Darius is, and the wave is a little bit big, so rather not risk that. From the darkness. Just last it here, fine. The night is Ow. my veil. Alright, mid shove then I'm gonna go ahead and back out here. If he wants to try to freeze, I'd say go ahead. Ooh, how do I wanna do this? What's the what's the Into MR the on middle? Uh you know what, whatever. I'm still gonna buy the same thing. Gonna buy the gold pretend. Get two wards and a lot of health pods. Yeah. Get a W and get to mid lane a little bit faster. Keeps me a 30% speed beast at 1. 20 or 30? 30. W removes all CC. Oh, not all CC. It moves snares. Or slows. That's it. Not snares. This way. Can we just shove on middle? Look to make a gank. I played this lane bad. I feel like I could have I could have definitely pressured him more, but me being too scared of the jungler caused me to make like uh a lot of my actions were because I didn't want to die in lane, but to be honest, when their jugglers that far behind, I could have looked to do a lot more. Shadows 
Shadows. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go top. Oh, well, I don't think I even need the flash for it. Okay, whatever. Yeah, the flash was overkill. I didn't realize. Yeah, top lane's really easy to gank. It's a um, Leona. And Leona gives you like four or five seconds of CC off the gank. Ooh, where is he going? So many people are going top. Okay, that's a dead top. Uh, I can't really help him in time. I don't even have ulti. I don't have flash. So I'm gonna go ahead. My only help is to shove middle. Like that's that's my that's a, sometimes that's the only kind of help you can give your your side lanes. This way. Wow. Okay. Mid didn't even end up shoving all the way. Jeez. I can smell. Into the night. Curious how the bottom's gonna play out. Okay. Very, very, uh. Oh my god. That should be dead cast. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And they go back middle, push in the lane, and that's probably close to game. I don't know, unless, I don't think Darius can swing the tide when he's behind, and all the lanes end up losing. So th there's Darius, but there's really not much he can do. God. Whoops, missed the CS. Oh, whoa, okay, so yeah. That's the only thing he could do. Feed the AD carry the red buff. Oh, the outplay there by ZZ time, man. Oh. That was pretty, that was, that was pretty. I'll give him that, that was, that was very pretty. Shadows beckon. So, uh, he flashes the headbutt, gets a triple kill, and this game's over. Absolutely over. Bottom lane's 304. A bottom lane's absolutely crushing them. The only lane that's even died is top lane because he went in between double turrets to farm like Singed. Like, that's the only lane that's behind. Oh my god. I suck. I should have just waited for Ignite. Oh my god. What did I what did he even do most of his damage from? Basic attack. Oh my god. His W oh my How much damage did I take from creeps? Like two hundred then? Oh that was so ugly. So ugly. Into the night. If only I had waited. So he goes double gold for 10. Oh my god, he's two kills up. Ooh, I'm I'm lagging a lot right now. Jeez. The night is my veil. Six. Oh, bottom lane's dead. An ally has been slain. Kasten is 100% down it there. Oh, actually, no, he's, he went slow. Wow, he went really slow. Okay, never mind. Misery loves company. Go sneak my way top. If I must. Ooh, actually, can I? It 
Okay, no, I'm not gonna even try. Dive him, dive him, dive him. Oh, no, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. So we'll just shove in the lane. Oh my god, please no, please no, please no, please no. This is not. Does he have flash? I don't think he does. Okay, okay. So I get out pretty safely. Botlane picks up with the- Oh my god, Jace is here. I just saw something that I did not want to see. Oh, he's still coming, he's still coming. Okay, no. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Oh, he pulled in the worst person to pull in. No, I'm not even gonna bother. I'm gonna die. Hundred percent, I'll die to this. If I must. Fifty gold to wait for abyssal, or hey, I'll just do this. I'm, I'm, I'm literally way too lazy to do that. From the darkness. Then I have a rod for abyssal and a rod and uh or sorry, a wand for abyssal and a wand for DFG. This way. How does the CS levels look this game? Shadows Ninety-seven. Hmm. Okay, no, I can't risk that. That's why her W is, this is why her W is very, very strong. Because you can afford to do, like, random stuff like that and get away with it. Ooh. Oh my god, please no. Oh, I didn't need the ulti there. Gee, I didn't realize this Ezreal does so much damage. There's the Cassidin. What is four one three seven zero six? Like it means something when I'm doing like the worst on the team. It more than likely means we're gonna win this game in like the most snowball fashion. If I must. An ally has been slain. Oh, okay. I'm gonna W my way over there. Oh my god, okay. 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 I don't have ulti, but okay. Shadows Please no, please no. Oh my god, okay, yeah. I saw that happening. Oh, we suck. Okay, we suck. We suck. Probably just gonna go ahead and sell ward, finish off my abyssal, and then go for. Well, to be honest, no, no it's better for me to go for the uh, death fire first this game, I feel like. Huh? Eh. Yeah, yeah, it would be better. It would be better. I have been lazy on getting it. It's almost always better to get that fire first. Even though you like to save your gold pretend for as long as possible, a lot of people like to get pick up the abyssal first and save the um, the death fire. But death fire gives you so many options. Like it gives you C huge CDR and the ability to burst people by yourself. Like that alone is huge. Please get that. Please get that. Please. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess we're not gonna get that. Let me hold up. Let me see what just happened. All right, business meeting.
That's something that I can't talk about. This is insane stream. We don't we don't uh, share and tell everything here. Oh my god, I can't kill him. It takes a lot of effort to move like this in heels. Mm, as you can see, I really haven't had mana problems this game. Like after a certain amount of levels, there's just there's nothing left. I have no ulti for this, so I can't kill him. Can't even force the ulti. Oh, there's a pink ward there. Uh, ulti's come up again. Like knights up to 50. I'm just gonna stay middle. Where's this cast in? That's a real question. Like I'm curious. Oh my god, that damage. I hate that silence duration. Silence is the worst because it means I can't flash and it means I can't ulti for the the huge health boost. Because I was in the flash and then ulti and I was pressing flash the whole time and I died horribly, horribly, horribly. Ninety CS, hundred sixty CS to yeah, we're like forty CS up in every lane, but from the darkness. Into the night. Oh, he misses it. If I must. Please look at that. Okay. Take the blue ring. Enemy has been slain. Do you have any MR? Fifty nine. I could. I could. This ally has been slain. Actually, that guy is getting a surprisingly amount of kills, to be honest. Whoa, why'd he go back in? Oh my god, why'd he go back in? I guess. Guess it's not more. Forty seconds on ulti, and your pain is my pleasure. Please go back to buy the abyssal and the first part of my GA. This way. I feel like I get impatient with a lot of these champions. Like I just want the cooldown come back faster so I I try spamming the button to will it to come back faster and it never works but I still do it because I'm bored into the night hmm, okay still got only 60 MR I wonder if he face checks this. I really just want it to burst. Pink ward. Oh yeah, we're gonna go fight for this. We're definitely gonna fight for this. From the darkness. I'm gonna sneak my way slowly. Oh, oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Dive, can we dive? And they pack up. Maybe hook. 
It takes a lot of effort to move the I nice surprise we saved him. Yeah, this game's over now. Uh, we took a little bit too long to get to this point, but uh, we all kind of messed around. Me especially messed around a little bit, way too much. Uh, I think the fact that Eve's slow, like, it's so huge, it's so ridiculous. Because uh, the slow starts at... 30%. I'm like, okay, 30% for a 5-man AoE slow that also gives her a shield? It's okay. That, that, like, that's fine. I can feel like that's balanced. But when it gets to 16 to 70% slow, it moves up 20% per level. And it's at that point that I'm like, hmm, I don't know. Please, please, please. Oh my god, okay. Maybe not worth it. Oh. They surrender? Yeah, uh, the fact that it moves up by, from 30 to 50 to 70, probably a little bit too high jumps right there. Like, maybe if it was started, I feel like 30% might be too low, especially early levels, her ganky power isn't that good. So maybe 40, 50, 60, that might be like a more balanced way you can look to, to tweak this champion, because I know Eve is going to get nerfed. I, I absolutely, 100% know. I just don't know how hard they'll, they'll hit her. All right, yeah, sorry about that. Do you still think Revolver's good at like cat? I think Revolver's fine. I think going for a Woda is fine. Uh, even Gunblade is fine, like, later. Uh, as a late item, it's just not ideal the first, like, the first buy Revolver, to Revolver, or like, look the first buy Gunblade, I don't think is ideal right now. I feel like she's much, much stronger as a champion that just goes straight for assassination with a Deathfire. Or, or like a straight for a Rabadons. I haven't played. I played against Frelon Lord only once in my life. I played against him when he's still on Team Alternate before this new Elo Blade stuff back in Hanover, and I couldn't even tell if he was good because his team like lost, like they lost every lane, so it was impossible for me to tell if they were good. Interesting debate between Deathfire, Rallies, and Revolver on Ari. I think it's always, it's never, it's not even a debate anymore. Just you, you, the first items you should go on Ari should always be Deathfire or Abyssal. And looking to build the vice versa. So, like, I don't think there's any other option that's good for her. As an assassin, Deathfire is, uh, the new Deathfire is absolutely amazing. I feel like the new Deathfire might get nerfed. Might have to get nerfed. It gives almost too much. I can't read the Chinese, I'm sorry. If you if you type Chinese, I cannot read it. I cannot write it. I can barely speak it. I, if you can speak if you speak it to me, I can listen. But aside from that, I'm I'm not that good at Chinese. It's just 
I, I, I tried to learn, but unfortunately I didn't learn. I haven't learned quite fast enough. Uh, Abyssal and Aria, I don't even know if I would get anymore with a super ranged nerf. It's not too bad though. Like, Abyssal, I still, Abyssal, I think, is still a strong item. Uh, but maybe like Deathfire and Ravadon's, like, that'd be fine. I, I feel, I don't know who would take the champions. Really a coin toss at this moment, at this point. Yeah, evil get nerfed, hundred percent. I feel like it's weird to have my page on the front page or my face on the front page. Sorry. Play something special next game. Um, no idea. Maybe. Who wins Evers Cap? Mmm. Cat should win the long run. Eve, is, it's a skill matchup for Eve if she can pull off the early game because I think she has the advantage up till four or five. But uh, after that, like it's probably a skill matchup for a couple levels and then Cat wins. But, like, you never pick Eve to be like, can I 1v1 this champion middle? Like, that's never, like, it's like, th man, I, I should pick Eve because, like, she is the, like, because I really want to kill X champion middle. Eve should be picked because it's like, hey, I can lane against middle. It's a good matchup for me, but it doesn't matter because I can pick up kills in other lanes. Like, that should be the immediate thought process behind picking Eve. Because picking Eve it doesn't just mean that... It's not just middle. Like when, whenever you pick your champion, it's not just your lane, and especially with Eve. Like Eve is a champion who can look to gank through wards. Like no other champion in this game can do that, as a mid. And she has a very unique gank pattern that is very hard to deal with. I don't think Eve needs a Rylize. I think Eve is fine just building straight up. Um, like Deathfire Abyssal GA is probably one of the strongest builds you can build. Diana's really good against Eve. Cast versus Eve. I feel like Cast Siopia wins, but Eve can outplay. Like I don't even know. I, I, I'm pretty sure Cast Siopia can pretty much outplay every mid matchup. She's probably the most skill, the matchup that takes the most skill to play against. But and as like she has a lot of, she is like the ideal one v one champion. Like she's got everything. So I would never look to like 1v1 Cassiopeia. You'd probably lose. Uh, I might stream more, but like, like I don't know. My ISP acted up in that game too. Like, I would like to stream, but if my ISP keeps act, if my ISP acts up this much, uh, I need another another like solution. Like, I'm unsure what to do. Rylize never seems to be building competency when you think it needs to make it more viable. It's a fine item. Like, it's a good item. The The issue is not so much that Rylize is bad, but the fact that other items are more important. Uh, maybe with a nerf to, nerf to GA and a nerf to, like, Deathfire, Rylize will see more play. Because currently, there's not much of a reason. Like, there's not many champions where, like, man, I wish I had a Rylize in that fight. Like, not, not, I never play a champion where, like, well, if I had a Rylize in that fight, we would have won. That In my mind, I never think those words. Whereas in my mind, I'm like, man, if I had a, a Deathfire in that fight, we could have won that fight. Like, if I had played that fight better with a Deathfire or, like, with a large rod and, and a Blasting Wand, we, I could have won that fight. I mean, yeah, I don't feel like Rylize is very cost-efficient either, but that goes into my point where I feel like other items are much more cost-efficient. I don't think it's an awful item, I just feel like there are better items. Diana doesn't beat every mid-matchup. Diana is very hard to play against, though, for some. I feel like she's a champion that's very iffy. Like, one-on-one, -on -one, you almost never want to play against a Diana for, for a lot of champions, but... If you ever force team fights with her, like against her, like she's very easy to keep out of a team fight with certain champions, like Alistar. I like Brand with Magic Penguins, just like I like Lux with Magic Penguins.
Yeah, DFG works on everyone. Every AP, I feel like DFG is good. Like, right now, I, I feel like DFG can work for every AP, because almost every AP can do well with the active. The CDR is extremely nice. It's hard to get. Like, there's not many offensive items, offensively oriented items that are cost effective and also plot, give you DFG plus AP. So, it's just that and, like, what? A Thanes, which is more defensively oriented, and that support item Morello's that no one ever gets because it sucks. Yeah, so it it fills a void of CDR items that it's hard to pick up, and the active is useful in almost every situation. Yeah, you can DFG on Nivia too. Uh, DFG on Lux, probably not that great, but you can do it. The new range buff to DFG makes it so that it's n the range isn't too far, too demanding. Like, you don't have to get too close for it. Have you tried Syndra? I tried a little bit of Syndra. Nia and Tonsa tells me she's, like, super strong near top 3 AP carry level, and I'm like, I don't see it. Like, it's just not... I 2-0'd Nian in lane, and I still lost. And I was like, she, her range is very low, like... Her utility is very shaky to use. Uh, anyone with a gap closer can beat her, beat on her senseless. She doesn't have mobility, uh, and her ulti doesn't bring utility. So it's like, I just feel like it's a weaker version of Orianna. No, you can get DFG on Zyra too. I said your damage is, is really good now after the hotfix, but it's like, why would I just want damage? Like, if I just wanted damage, I'd play LeBlanc, because she does great damage, but... Damage is, just isn't enough. Like, unless the damage is so overwhelmingly powerful, where just by pressing the R button on Syndra, I one-shot anyone on their team, sure, I'd play Syndra every game. Everyone would, but... Um, just by having damage isn't good enough in this game. Like, utility is is key. Utility and CC are key. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you guys, I could play any mid-champion that's AP, that does magical damage, and big death, and first build Deathfire, and it would not be a bad, uh, like, it would not be an awful choice. Like any, any AP, like... There's not even one that I can't think of where it would maybe not be good. Yeah, AP team on DFG is core. Phase is core. Rise, be sure. Why not? Okay, this doesn't mean start yelling APs at me. Please stop. Malazahar just has skill shots. Like, he has really good damage, but his utility is de completely dependent on his ulti, and that's not good enough. Because his ulti range is not good enough. If it was maybe longer, it'd be okay. But, I don't know, right now it just, like, I feel like Malzahar was good in the, in the area where people kept choosing really tanky bruisers without gap closers. Back when people used not a Mundo a lot, uh, a really strong combination against Mundo when people were spamming exhaust was like, you run Mundo, jar like, maybe like Jarvan Malzahar, and you could just like crush uh, their front line. Absolutely just destroy their front line with that combo. But Mundo's fallen off the face of the planet, and there's not really another champion that's come up in the place that just stacks like effective health. 
Uh, I think Brand's okay. I don't think he's that bad. I know Brand just his kid isn't strong enough. That's just how it is. I mean, he could be stronger if you put base like put a lot of damage on all his abilities, but then you run the risk of him becoming just too strong. Okay, thank god I found the match. I was about to go crazy. Okay, well, never mind. Uh, I might play a little more, some more underplayed champions. I might just go play Brand this game. I feel like Brand's a champion that like people don't play much and he can be decent uh, so I'll pick brand this game I'll see I'll see if I can't make brand look okay or maybe I'll find out the reason why I don't play brand while I'm playing brand we'll see no I'm not gonna play brand jungle that was a long time ago that was the only game I won during like a seven game series of losses was legendary brand jungle that was I don't even understand that game that was so bad uh, Rengar... Play Ziggs, play Talon, play Master of Evil. Yeah, I was really surprised by how good TPA was. Definitely not something that I'm like, on the top of my head, I was like, man, TPA is gonna rock the the world at this event, but they certainly showed me. Eve gets banned. Jace gets banned. Bam! Oh, I'm playing against with a Diana player and Barnacle. Ooh, really? I'm trying to think if this is going to become an issue. Hold on, I have to change my my uh, page if I'm playing against against LeBlanc. Hey, is that B shoot? It better be. Hold up. Oh my god. B shoot, such a pussy. I was I was ready for that matchup too. I was ready to go nine to defense for that matchup, but um, he decides to wuss out playing Italy. I think LeBlanc is like I think people undervalue LeBlanc. I think she's still really good. She's like a champion where you can't like she's a champion where you literally cannot invade against because she can catch you and cream you by herself like she's such a threatening presence early levels that doing stuff in the other person's jungle is limited I, I don't know I, I I feel like she's underrated and that's one of the champions where I like where I will go out and, oh, my way and say like I feel like LeBlanc could be better or not LeBlanc could be better people could be playing LeBlanc more I should say um, but maybe I'll play I should I should I'll buy my words and like I'll play LeBlanc in the next couple of days and try it out again and see if see if she's still as strong as I remembered. Cause I I really think that like, in some matchups LeBlanc can just would just cream the other guy, absolutely cream the other guy. I have def uh, Jace will definitely get nerfed. He's his value is just too good. Yeah, no, like I, I think LeBlanc beats like almost every eight. Like LeBlanc can beat hard counters Ari, hard counters Rise, beats Cannon, uh, beats Karthus, beats Cassiopeia. A skill matchup. I'll go with skill matchup. Maybe not beat. Um, beats TF. I, I think. I think. I'm not quite sure. Pretty sure it beats TF. Pretty sure it could be Vlad. Yeah, I don't know. It just wins. It beats a lot of matchups. 
doesn't beat Mordekaiser. Yeah, it beats Cat too. It just beats a lot of stuff. Uh, doesn't beat Cassidin. Doesn't beat. Oh well, I don't know. It might be Worry. I don't know. It's such an underplayed champion. I really don't know any matchups with her. Oh man, what a dodge! Who had a dodge? Yeah, Cassidy does do well against LeBlanc. AP Silent, what a, what a weird champion. Let me think about that champion for a bit. Cause I, am I, I haven't played Scion in a long time. Why did I drop Scion? I, I know I'm gonna remember the reason is because he sucks horribly. But let me, let me, in my mind, let me think for a sec. Why did I drop Scion? It's because he sucked horribly, isn't it? <sighs> it is. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I might play Scion. AP Maokai has like really strong, surprisingly strong AP ratios. I don't. Rise might be in the top 10 AP mids. Uh, I feel like. After top five, top ten, because I don't know. See, let's see. Strongest AP mids I consider right now. Vlad, Vlad, TF. Well, I'll continue on. I'll continue on. Karthus. Anivia. And then like a bunch of them that are really close. Like I feel like Ari, Gragas, uh, Morgana are like a whiff away from being like super amazing. Diana too. Eve, Eve probably right up there. Man, there's like there's some that I'm just like, well these work only in specific situations. And some that I'm like, well these are super versatile. They can work in all these comps. But that doesn't mean that like the nit the niche ones are 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 any worse than the than the versatile ones, it's just like they work in different situations. Vlad, Vlad, when I say Vlad, out, I mean he's a very strong AP as a mid. He's not the best, but because he's versatile, he it makes him become like top tier. Bottom five AP mids? I don't even know. I'm needed at League of Legends and currently only playing Master Yi. Can you help him? No, I won't be playing Master Yi next game. I'm sorry. The I, the only thing I know about Master Yi is he's got a one to one ratio on his Q, and he's got the highest move speed in the game at 330. That's the only two reasons I would ever play Master Yi, but I'm in the mood to just play like some other AP mid. There's a lot of AP mids I fell out of touch with because like I just stopped playing. I felt I was I'm was super focused on like a handful of mids. Every turn we go to, we analyze what champs we want to play, and we're like we're only going to play X amount of champions. Usually X is a list between like three to seven, three to eight, and then we just focus on that list. For the preparation for that tournament, uh, and so like when I it gets the crunch time, like you should have seen like my match history with with one of my other accounts. I had like oh, I had so many games of certain champions before packs. I had like hundreds of like 
I probably had like a good hundred TF games and Gragas games before PAX. Like, it was a lot of games. No, AP Vera sucks. I've tried it. It's not that great. Zilling is really strong. I just feel like many... <laughs> the coordination you need to run a Zillion comp is insane. Like, we tried it. We tried to make it work so much. I played probably 50 games of Zillion, and I just... I wasn't good enough at Zillion to make it work. That's that's the that's a big thing. Like my team thought it could it could work, but I wasn't good enough to make it work. That's that's it was annoying. I don't know. I think Orion is too good right now. I think she'll get nerfed. Uh, she's t she just makes the lane too safe. Yeah, I don't know why my webcam is tinted. I like, I don't know. Not even to touch it, because last time I touched it, I was like red, and I tinted it like blue or something, and I was like, okay, this is not in any, any, in any way better. No, I have the Magic Penetration play page for Brand and Lux. I think those are like the only two champions that you can run Magic Pen on. The other ones have like really strong AP ratios. Who do you think is going to win tomorrow? I would like TPA to win, but I would say coin flip 50-50. Um, I went to the ride offices today and I saw like they have a they cleaned out two conference rooms across the hall. And one has a big picture of, of TPA, of like the TPA logo, and one has a big picture of the Azibu Frost logo. All the, like there's the curtains inside, black curtains, the room is blacked out and like soundproofed. And both the teams are practicing in the rooms. Uh, and it's, I, I'm, I'm expecting good games. Like I'd be very sad if I don't see good games. Uh, I, I hear they're, lot, they're doing a lot of replay analysis in those rooms though. I feel like if you want to learn a new champion, Anivia is probably one of the hardest champions to learn. But if you want to persist on it, I feel like Anivia is a champion that rewards you for playing her very well. Uh, probably the champion where like, uh, she's harder. She has a much harder base learning uh, curve than like stuff like Morgana. I feel like Morgana is the best learning like ch AP. If you're gonna learn an AP, I would always recommend Morgana. Anivia is one that I feel like is is good, but the skill required to play her at like a decent level is much higher than other champions. The Grail Veal build is lit is the most obnoxious build you can ever play against. Like I played against Rapid Star doing that. It literally as soon as he gets the veil, you're like, okay, you do no damage to him as an AP caster. At that at that at that time, you cannot kill him by yourself. You have to force team fights and you you're like, okay, please allies, just just kill him. Please, dear God, because you can't do any damage to him. No, I think Anivia's auto attack is fine. Uh, I'm with Bishu this time. I wonder who's on the enemy team then. Pinion Legion closing. Hmm. 
Oh, for people who didn't realize, uh, Legion made the official statement. Uh, Legion is disbanded. They're not a team anymore. I don't know if they're going to come back with a completely different roster, but Legion is no longer a competitive team on the NA scene. So, with that in mind, we... I don't know, I'm sad. I, I feel like a lot of them were, like, all of them were good players, just, like, their practice schedule wasn't good enough, and people just left because of that. I, I, that's, that's what I really feel. TPA Toys is a beast. Really strong player on, like, certain champions. Toys better than Rapid Start? Uh, I actually don't know. I think Rapid Start's one of the best, like one to one AP mids I played against. Hmm, hard to say. I want to go Gragas top, like I really do. Gragas or Darius? Alright, alright, I'll go Gragas. I like, I like going AD Gragas, it's so much fun. Uh, hold on, I have one of these pages all the way down here where I play this champion. Um, I know hybrid runes, armor, MR, and hybrid gen. So, my page 17 was this one. What build did you? Yeah, I went fourteen sixteen on this champion. On this champion, it's a very very strange build, but I like it. What else? What else? What else? I put one Damar. I decided I'm gonna go ahead and try tough skin this game. I feel like tough skin is so good. Oh, especially if it's against a Yorick. Oh my God, yes, especially if it's against a Yorick, because tough skin works on his ghouls. I wish I had Oktoberfest Gragas, I would use it, but I don't. Except two very, very similar Gragas skins. What's your opinion of Mazahar? I think he, he could... He's not bad. He's not horrible. I don't think any champion in this game is horrible enough to the point where, where he's their own pickable. Like, the only, like I said before, the only champion I feel like definitely needs a lot of work is Nasus. Because uh, he just doesn't win enough matchups to be like... For us, to, like, I've never in my life heard, man, I really wish we had a Nasus pick right now. Like, never, ever, 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 ever heard that statement. It'll never be said because he has just too many, he's just too weak. I feel like in this current, in this current situation, especially with the strength of top laners. I think Twitch and Karma are like, okay, like they can be usable in certain situations. Does Wani is okay? No, no, Sejuani is like, okay. Like, if you can get her to level 5 in the jungle, she's a beast. But no good team will ever get let you get her to level 5. Unless they have, like, a Maokai. Like, something really weak. Nasus, Nasus, Nasus. In a two-hour game, you'll wish you had that. No, I, I still wouldn't. Riot's probably going to be like, Scar, god damn it. Remember that time I told you not to talk about... 
champions being weak or strong. Remember that time, Scarra? You shouldn't have said anything about Nasus and not be like, oh, whoops. Whoops. And before I get like a... I just got a Skype message from someone. It's probably... It's not right. Okay. Okay, that's good. We gonna play some ads real quick before the game starts. Okay, so my ads are done. Um, okay. Who am I playing against? I don't even know. I'm playing against Barnacle, Unstoppable, and Avatar. Okay. We're gonna run in. I wanna run in. I wanna run in. I wanna run in. Wait, this is support Urgot? Oh my god, it's the same support Urgot as last game. Is there any situation where a parent oh, carry yeah. puts other team puts an AD mid and you don't like it? Yes, AD mids are really, 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 really good. Need some brawl. Oh my God! Please, if the Ur guy doesn't get here in time, this won't work. Let me move this over. Really want our god to be I'm here. On it. Oh. Want another shot? I wouldn't want to leave things up in the air. Okay, oh. so. <laughs> Thirty seconds until the minions spawn. I'm surprised. They're not here. If she gets... Oh, they're there, they're there, they're there. Are they invading? I don't think they they will, but maybe. Minions have spawned. Let's get this party started. Oh my god, that guy is so... Hey, you know what? Maybe, maybe it might work out. I'm on it. Oh, he really started Q. Oh my god. Oh, he's going the gold pretend route. Oh my, I fucking hate oh, yeah, Kishu. He he loves this now. He goes CV and he goes gold pretend on, on AP. Mid mid, and he just farms for like 50 minutes. 
Take some. Oh, 50 armor? What the heck? Hmm. Let's get this party started. You go ahead and drink. Get W or W second for a better health regen and the better lane, laning. So run to this bush. This gold Jaggers for a bit. Probably gonna be pretty uh very safe lane for both of us. I don't want to do anything too crazy. I don't think the other guy wants to do anything too crazy either. Yeah, yeah. We're both pretty much sitting at full health. Nothing too too ridiculous here. Oh, we got three CS here. Pick up my first point to E. I still max barrel with this build because the attack speed is so big. I'm gonna go all in, all in him pretty soon. I'm gonna see how much damage I can do to him with how much armor? 57 armor, Jesus. Uh, I only hit him for not not as much as I would like. All right, so Barnacle doesn't even want to fight either. He just wasted so much mana on the creep wave right there. Like that was such a bad idea. Because top lane is a, is a lane of attrition. Like, you win by having more mana than the other player, you win by having more, uh. More health. More, the more pots you have top, like, the better you are. And in the other lanes, it might not be like that. I wonder if he backed off. I'm on it. Yeah, I'm confused how he even gets 50 armor. Like, yes, I, I, I was kind of really shocked when I came into lane and saw that. Twenty-five armor pin. On. What the? F I don't even know. Slain. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I missed. It. Whatever. 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 I could have actually looked to all in him if I had hit him with spells there. Like I'm missing the body slam is so big because that's the only way I can actually uh like auto attack him. Oh, wow. I missed the last CS there. Oh, he's behind 20 CS? Where did he go wrong? What what happened? 20 CS. What happened? I don't even know. I have no idea. Uh, what do I want to build? Let's go with this. Oh yeah, so I'm definitely out, out, out landing top because he messed up last hitting.